Yeah, my grandparents, my father's parents lived here, and I came down here when I was nine years old to visit them. And uh, uh, I remember we walked by this one theater. There were two theaters. One had the outlaw. Jane Russell. Jane Russell. And the other one had Robert Alda playing, I think, Chopin. And then my mother and I were taken to the old Gary Moore radio show. And Dale Evans was his sidekick at that time. This was way, way, way before Roy Rogers. Way before. And, uh, no, I don't think, I think my preconceptions came from maybe movie magazines or things like that where there didn't seem to be a lot of sincerity, a lot of care for life around you. And, uh, and clearly the reality didn't match the stereotype when you moved here. That's, my dissertation is all about that stereotype that LA is a place of fake, conspicuous consumption, anti-intellectualism. Uh, women are beautiful but to be discarded and people of color are either victims or perpetrators of racialized, sexualized violence usually. Well, there was, you mentioned this, and this brings back something. You asked me if I had ever felt, whether the lack of word, antagonism, uh, being uncomfortable with the Mormon community. I felt uncomfortable in the Jewish community. There was a reform Jewish community, and I came from the conservative. And by the time I left, we had merged both, both congregations because we couldn't afford both of them. And we started that with the Sunday school, the mixing, and it's flourished. But these women in the uh, Reformed Jewish community, uh, their noses were always up in the air. They were snooty. And I'm not this kind of a person. And. Uh, one of the things it did do is when there were two early Jewish communities that came to this country. The first one was the Sephardic in 1654. They were Spanish Jews that uh, pirates picked up when uh, Ferdinand and Isabella decided that they were going to rid the world of Jews, you might say. A lot of them moved to Holland, and then a lot of them from Holland moved to Brazil. And some of them from Brazil wanted to go back to Holland. Well, they dumped them in New York, New Amsterdam. And so that was the first Jewish community. In the 1850s, the German Jews came, not because they had to, but because they wanted to. And I'm very glad to still talk about this because I think there is still an antagonism with me because they always felt they were superior. But one of the things they did when the West East European Jews came in the 1880s to the 1920s, they did this so they wouldn't be embarrassed by the greenhorns that were coming from the East. They set up schools to teach the Jews English. That was wonderful. I live in Glendale today, the Armenian capital of the world. I live, I've been past president of our association. We have 18 units. Half of them are Armenians, and they will stand and scream in Farsi, in Russian, in Armenian at each other, and then all stand and laugh. Please learn English. You live here. And so, uh, 
And that's the first time in my life outside of the German Jew that I have ever felt bigoted, and it's with the Armenians. And I have never until this day said that I felt bigoted by the German Jew, and I'm so glad. It happened in the city when I worked there. A tremendous amount of Filipinos moved, and they went into administrative services because they're very good with finances. And I had a friend who spoke English, and she's also Spanish. And she said she would sit there in this office of four or five other people, and they'd all talk Filipino. After a while, personnel got after this.